What's up, everyone? Darren Persinger here again with Ian Watt uh, in Vancouver, Canada. Right now, I wanted to talk to Ian about um, how he could maybe give you guys a few tips on building your business via online. So, Ian, why do you think agents should be online right now? Well, as consumers, even these realtors, they research everything online. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, I'm shocked, but I would say 99% of consumers look at things online before they purchase. Okay. I, I just can't imagine anyone booking a vacation without looking at the hotel, the beaches, the places online. And it's the same way with, with consumers with real estate. Now there's a handful of realtors that are really giving content mm -hmm. every, every, every day. But they're very, there's probably 95% of realtors that have a website that don't touch it. Maybe they touch it once a month and update a new listing, but they're not adding value. What if CNN didn't update their website every day? Sure. Would anyone go back? Of course not. If you're not spending an hour a day on your website, why would your clients? Interesting. So you're looking at it as... If you want people to spend time at your site, you need to be spending time exactly. on that site. Exactly. you got to be providing some sort of service. Everyone's got a website. It's not a unique thing to see anymore. And nobody gives a crap about a realtor that has a headshot that says, I am a condo specialist. you got to add value to that. Do you really think, though, that, that you need to be online? Yeah. You do. For sure. For sure. For sure. So what would you say to a real estate agent that's not ready to be there though? What advice would you give to them? Find a new career, get the hell out because there's no room for you in this world. Basically that's it. And it might be a little blunt, but I, as I always say, you're in God's waiting room. You can either die or you can join the crowd and work on this new media. And, and by new media, what do you... Social media, maybe Facebook, maybe Twitter, maybe video, but, but it's all about giving information. There's no point in being online if you're not giving information. And nobody wants to log into anything, they want free information. And if you become the source of free information, they will trust you with it. Sure. I, I think that that's really important that everyone at home think about that and look at the websites that you visit, whether it's for hotels or for cars or uh, close, you know, Amazon.com. You don't have to log in, give your email address right. and credit card number and all that stuff just to get information. No, it's so all for free. Look at your user experience with other uh, consumer goods and other websites out there, and then think about how the consumer is going to respond when they come to your website. I just said it better myself. There you go. All right. So, Ian, if someone <laughs> wants to get a hold of you, hold it together. We're almost done here. If someone has a referral <laughs> to someone moving okay. up. Yeah. to uh, Vancouver, they know someone who needs to sell. Yeah. How should they get a hold of you? You can always email me at Ian Watt at ianwatt.ca. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank and you. Have a great day.